This is question 10, paper 1 from the SQA specimen paper for National 5 Mathematics. There's a story going on here. Brian and Bob visiting a ski resort. Brian buys three full passes, four restricted passes. Total cost is this. Write down an equation. So two things going on, two types of passes. There's full passes and restricted passes. And we don't know the prices of either of these passes. So we'll need to introduce letters. So let's write this down as full passes. And we'll say that that costs X pounds. And restricted pass we'll say that costs Y pounds. So part A we've got Brian And he buys three full passes. That would cost them three lots of X pounds. And four restricted passes, four lots of Y pounds. So that's what he's spent. Three lots of X pounds plus four lots of Y pounds. And how much does that come to? Comes to 185 pounds. Now I don't need to put pound signs in there. I just know that whatever number replaces X and whatever number replaces Y, three lots of the X plus four lots of the Y must equal 185. And we'll do a similar thing for Bob's uh, information. He buys two full passes, which will cost him two lots of X pounds. And then three restricted passes cost some three lots of y pounds so it's three y and in total he spent 130 pounds so there's the equation to illustrate that so we have two equations which both being true in other words we have simultaneous equations now, to solve these, we really want to eliminate one of these letters, get rid of either the X or the Y. And to do so, since we're in equations, we'll balance the equations and get the same number of X's uh, involved in this. So let's try and get six X's where we would multiply the first equation by 2 to get a 6X in there and multiply the second equation by 3 to get a 6x in there. So both sides get doubled. 6x plus 8y and we're doubling 185 which would give us 370. And then trebling the sec both sides of the second one we get 6x, 3 lots of 3y is 9y and 3 lots of 130 390. So let's subtract. When we subtract these we get 0. So we'll subtract. Now maybe the wrong way around if we had this one first and this one second. Well, let's take the first one from the the second one, 8y away from 9y would just be 1y. 370 from 390 would be 20. If we do it the way it is, we'd get negatives in there, which would then disappear. So we've now got the fact that y equals 20, that a restricted pass will cost 20 pounds. So we now that we know the value of y, we'll put that value into one of the original equations. Uh, let's let's take the, the second one into 2x plus 3y equals 130. So when we come across y in this, we know it's 20. So twice x plus 3 lots of 20, that's 60, is 130. Let's take uh, 60 from both sides of this equation. Um, there we've got 70 left, 
when we take 60 from 130 and we divide both sides by 2. So x is 35. Now, you'd be wise to, to check and we usually check in the equation we didn't use. We used 2x plus 3y equals 130. Let's check that 3x plus 4y does give us 185. So 3 lots of x is 3 lots of 35. 4y is 4 lots of 20. Now 3 35s, 105. And 4 20s is 80. So that does come to 185 as expected. So there we go. Find the cost of a restricted pass and the cost of a full pass. So restricted pass costs, that's the y pound one, and y we know is 20 pound, 20 pound, and the full pass, that's the x pound, that's 35, full pass, 35 pound.